Hello everybody, my name is El Sonic and welcome to Killing Floor 2's Back and Kicking Brass Their new summer seasonal event Well, it's not the summer sideshow seasonal event Summer sideshow, you know Yeah, summer sideshow Yeah, the summer sideshow, well, used to be called Summer Sideshow Treacherous Skies And now this year, it's Back and Kicking Brass, like And then, in this video, I'm doing an overview Unlike all my past seasonal event videos, this is the first time I'm ever going to try and do a huge overview of everything all in one video Before I get to, you know, doing a playthrough, like a little video series like I've been doing with the past videos This is more like an overview where I try and cover everything about the event in one video So, here we go Yeah, since the game is so naturally loud and everything I was just my OBS And you can see in the background here, all the stuff, the patriarchs a little robot. Yeah, the new event, Kicking Brass. So let's go down here, check out. Here we are, look at this. Latest content update. Look at that. Killing Floor 2, back in Kicking Brass. Oh yeah. Look at this. Let's go check this out. I'm trying to do an overview. Oh, or may. In fact, this could be a, a little overview of Killing Floor 2's seasonal, summer seasonal event. Or it could be that slash reaction video. And yeah, you see my reaction over this video actually. You know what? Let's let's click on this and just see my reaction over this. This is welcome to the island. So let's see this video first. Ready to that? Oh. Look at that. Oh, my Cape Guru! Oh, my steam oh. fortress Eden! How I missed you! Yeah, Something. Oh yeah, just little turn it down there a little bit. Okay. Let's go. Bring them back and we'll get this show on the road. Ooh. There, those controls will open a hatch. Alrighty then, let's shoot this rocket into space. Yeah, oh, space. Keep going. It's almost at the terminal. Oh. You will have to be in this zone to get extracted. Oh, DLC skins. What? New. Oh, yeah. Look at that new weapon. Oh, my God. I love that new weapon. Dude, weapon seals. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, what? Killing, killing floor two. Back and kicking the grass. Oh, what's this? Did you see that? What were those? So that was it. That was the video, the little trailer for the seasonal event. Dang, uh, how do I just summarize everything we just saw there? A harpoon gun? No, usually I have a different like screen when I go to my reaction, like a reaction scene in my OBS, but I didn't use that. I just stayed inside this game scene here and just watched that. But oh, I'm sure I figured out how to edit all of that in the video. <laughs> that was weird. The two new weapons, a few, there's one new map, an objective mode in there. That's what we saw there. That's what's new for this event. And here it says, Welcome to the island. Rock hard here, and I've got some news. First, the good. We reached the fortress lair. And in at Cape Corvo, now the bad. It seems we haven't seen the last of those incredible stowaways and piratical creatures. Chop chop! We have work to do! And by we, I mean you! The you! Ah, you! <laughs> oh, the guy's accent when he talks like, Chop chop, my boy! He says something like that, remember? Yeah, on the airship level in the last seasonal event. For this game, a summer sideshow treacherous skies. I love that then. You and not are going places, and I don't just mean on errands around this place. To get your right oh excuse me, to get your mode of transportation up and running. However, I'll be giving you a set of tasks to complete. Start Ah, look at those new maps. I think those are screenshots of the new map here. Yeah, the new map. They got a new map in there. A new objective mode, like I saw in the video. Oh my god, two new weapons. So can't wait to use that melee weapon, though. It's like, 
Yeah, we'll get to it here. Look at that. Those nice screen sizes of the whole map. And I'll be sending my drone, Rufa, into the field to help to make sure to stay close as these dastardly creatures will impede his progress. Or worse, destroy him. Ooh, wouldn't let that to happen. And while Rova is around, I'll be needing you to collect some things and transport them to where they need to be. Did you expect Rova would be around to help you with everything? It costs more to run than I pay you! Pay you! And while you're at it, I believe I left a flatbread in the... I'm not, are you freaking kidding me? A flatbread in the oven? What the freak, dude? Ah! Flatbread in the oven. Seriously, look at this. What? Flatbread in the oven. The idea and bring it to me. Mmm, skinnycombs. Now the goes bad. How can it? It starts that way. That was weird. Seriously? A freaking loaf of bread, man? What the? He wants me to bring him bread. Are you kidding me? Is that part of the objective on Steam Fortress? These are pictures of Steam Fortress, the new map. And there's Zedlander, whatever it's called. God, some outpost? Yeah, the, the old maps now have objective modes too, as you saw in the video. Your new friends! Here it is, here's that melee weapon we saw. Himoglobber. My god, killing for two alts. So you can just bop, whap, whap, bop, bop, and just whack, 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 whack. With the melee weapon, you can just swinging the melee weapon around, and you can just hit anybody, regardless of who's on your side. Oh, I'll just hit my teammate with this. Whack! I'll hit my 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 enemy with this. Whack! Whack! Just hit everyone. Ooh, flesh down. Whack! Just hit anyone you see with this thing. You will you hit with your melee. Let's read what it says here first, though. Have you ever wanted to smack around your fellow marks to make them all better? And perhaps to make your own experience a tad more... What? Cath... Cathartic? Is that what it says? Cathartic? Cathartic? For the overworked and underpaid medics out there, we introduce... The Hemoglover! Hemoglover or Hemoglover? I'm not sure. This beautiful is, this beauty is a medical healing weapon that combines the technology of the medical syringe with the fun of beating things to a pulp. That's funny, it heals players and poison zeds. So you hit teammates, you heal them. Like I was trying to say a lot ago, poison zeds and you Poison Zeds as you hit Zeds. It's funny. Hit anyone with it. On light attacks. Oh, that only happens on land. Heals players and poison Zeds on light attacks. Okay, light attack. Ooh, the heavy attack uses ammunition for an extra punch. Dude, kind of reminds me of another weapon, but I, I, I like this weapon. As I love playing the, the Berserker. If you strike a Zed or player with it, it will cause an explosion of medical gas. That damages all Zeds in the explosion radius while the healing players nearby. That is so cool. I would love to see that in action nearby. We feel confident that both medics and berserkers, I love playing berserkers, will find this multi use tier 3 weapon a bargain at 1100 DOSH! Well, that's gonna take a while to try to unlock this thing. But I'm gonna do a playthrough and check this weapon out once I get to that. Seal Squeal. I don't know if I said that right. Seal Squeal. We, okay, we saw these weapons in the trailer, of course. Seal Squeal. Like a, the Seal Squeal is an explosive semi-automatic harpoon launcher. That fires explosive lad... Laden harpoons. Each one of these lovely rounds are wrapped with a timed explosive that can pin zeds to another surface think of it as gorgeous gore can you see how they said that there gorgeous it's gorgeous like gorgeous well gorgeous well art really that's funny they attach themselves to anything you may want to go boom, like we saw in the, in the freaking trailer. That's awesome. This baby has two detonation modes to let you control exactly when the explosions happen. The default mode, default mode self, 
detonates after four seconds. What? Detonates? Oh, you detonate it after four seconds. If that's not your style and you prefer to play with your prey, the ult fire lets you control the explosion. Let's like C4. Oh, that's cool. We know that what mercs are wan wandering next. All this for the low, low price of... Oh, come on, that's not low price. 1100 Tosh is not low price at all. You're not be fucking kidding me. As a tier 3 weapon at a trader pool near you. You call that low price? That's just pretty expensive. I don't know about that, but that's just like a ripoff to me. <laughs> whatever that's cool the return of objective mode yay from killing floor one see there's a new object objective mode in this event starting with the upcoming steam fortress map this is a mode where players will need to get a move on as those objectives won't complete themselves and the zeds will keep coming now do the uh, now to the objective types players will experience in these maps our maps are a refined and updated updated escort and the brand new transport objective which will require players to collect and move mission critical items to where they need to be the full objective type list now includes exterminate hold and hold the zone operate and control weld and repair escort transport hmm to be honest this objective mode, it feels like it's already exists. Like, if you remember the airship map, you had to weld and repair. If you remember in the Christmas map for the season's beatings that I did in the past. Yeah, Twisted Christmas, season's beatings, season's beatings, yeah, remember that? Yeah, that, if you haven't, you can go check that out. Yeah, you had a weld and repair objective in there. You had an escort, as in the payload thing with the bomb. That was an escort thing. Or it was kind of a transport thing. So it feels like these kind of modes already existed. But they're all now putting them all together inside an objective mode. And I feel like that the maps for previous seasons had some objectives in them. Like weld, weld and repair, like in the airship. Or the season beings, like Santa's workshop. Yeah, Sam's workshop had weld and repair. If you remember that, and you had to transport a bomb, you had to escort a bomb into the Krampus's portal, right? Oh, Krampus's portal. Let's deal with their chestnuts. Ah, like remember that see badass style of badass Santa. Remember that? That was funny. That old event, but that's a that's an older event. You can check out in the videos we did. Oh, look at this. This is Outpost. Old purple glow here. Oh, joining Steam Fortress are new classic Killing Floor 2 maps. Yep, added, updated for Techno Mode. Objective Mode! Introducing the objective versions of Outpost and Zen Landing. Someone new, Dr. Ogada. Ooh, I'm not sure if I said that right, pardon me. Has asked for your help in discovering some of Horizon's darkest secrets and perhaps some of her own along the way if you dare look at that solo game launch start map steam fortress here steam fortress get it steam fortress kind of reminds me of team fortress but steam fortress game mode objective difficulty normal there's no real length that's cool so yeah I guess that's everything that's new in this entire update. That's cool. The new harpoon gun. Seal sequel. I feel like I say this wrong. Seal sequel. Like sequel almost. The hemoglobber. I can't wait to swing that around. This is their new friends. The new map. And that. Freaking trailer. All in back and kicking brass. Killing floor two is back and kicking brass. Now I'm going to check this event out. Oh yeah. That was, that's so cool. Awesome. Really. So, in the next couple upcoming videos, I'm gonna try to, oh look at this, starting that. Game mode, not survival anymore. You know, Killing Floor 2 is a co-op survival horror, then survival is normal mode. Then there's weekly, or survival, it's kinda like, you know, zombies versus humans, humans versus zeds. It's their survival thing, like Left 4 Dead, kinda. Endless, endless mode. 
objective mode, it's a new one. And you know we got, like you said, outpost, steam fortress, and Zen landing. That's cool. So we're gonna do steam fortress, but not for this video. In another, another video, like I said, this whole video is basically an overview of checking out everything that was new for this event. And I just did that. Now I'm gonna oh, look at weekly Bobble Zed. I can change it to Bobble Zed. Before I saw Tiny Terror. I hate Tiny Terror. That's what I had to deal with in the, in the Christmas season a little bit last year. Oh my god. I, ah, that was hard. Now there's Bobble Zeds again. I can't stand Bobble Zeds. Yeah, it's seasonal event here. The seasonal achievements, just like my past seasonal events in Killing Floor 2, I try and unlock all these seasonal events. Like I said, I'm going to do a playthrough of me trying to unlock all these seasonal achievements for the seasonal event back in Kickin' Brass. And as I do that, I'm going to do a playthrough of me checking out all the stuff I just covered in this entire video. Like I said, this video is an overview of everything I'm going to check out in the, in the, in the event itself. So, if you're interested, if you'd like to see more from me, you can subscribe to see me check out all that, everything I just checked out in this video. If you want to see me check out all the action, if you'd like to see more from me, you can subscribe. So really, yeah, you can do that if you're interested in seeing me trying to go through all of this. It's so, alright everybody, I think that's it for this video. They like said new DLC, I have to check out and see what that is, I'm not sure what that is, but... I'm gonna check out all this in the next couple up, couple up upcoming videos. As this video is just an overview of everything like I just said. So alright, I believe that's it for this video. And that's the complete overview of everything that's new back in kicking grass. I sure hope I didn't miss anything new. Like I know before I did this video I checked perks, gear, vault, inventory, store. There's not much anything new, but I guess you could say in the store they have a clock backpack bundle. They have all these new bundles here. And other than that, that's pretty much it. There's nothing really new here, but you can check that out. We'll check out the event for yourself, of course. So, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Steam Fortress, Objective Art. And who knows, I might have a guest with me again, like I did last time. <laughs> yeah, if you remember Dark Scarecrow 22? Dark Scarecrow, Dark, Dark, Dark Scarecrow 22, if I said his, I said his numbers right, I know it's Dark Scarecrow, you remember Dark Scarecrow when I did a collab with him back in the past, when I did the Twisted Christmas Season Meetings event, he tried to help me beat the freaking, what's it, shopping screen map, which I had so much trouble with, you go check out those old videos you can like, before it, I go into this, so, you know, that's the thing, seasonal events, seasonal events are what you call, they're time limited, you know, very time limited, they're only there for a short amount of time, and I figured I'd be better if I captured a whole overview of the entire event itself, an entire overview of everything that's brand new for the seasonal event, instead of just trying to do a series of videos and then trying to get all the series of views uploaded before the event over. That's why if I do an overview, like try and capture everything all in one video. Like, yeah, look at this in the background there. That's the new harpoon gun right there, you see? And there's the human goblin. I feel like I said the name wrong. Look at that melee weapon. I can't wait to get my hands on that melee weapon when I do a playthrough of this. So, my playthrough is more like a series of videos like I said I always used to do. But from now on, from a seasonal event videos, I do like an overview of everything that's new in that event. That way it's all in one video. So, yeah, seasonal events are time limited. They gotta have that all done in the first video and then upload before the, the event's over. So, really, that's everything for this event. Oh, no, that's everything I covered that's new for this event. Now I gotta go in depth and check it all out in a playthrough as I try to get all these achievements here. Yeah, we'll go step by step over each achievement here. It seems like I gotta do endless on wave 15 here. Objective hard, objective hard or high difficulty on outpost, set landing, steam fortress, on endless hard, high cost or higher on wave 15, complete weekly on, weekly again on steam fortress this time, complete steam fortress on objective hard or high difficulty. Yeah, it's, that's, these are what these achievements are. Look at that it's new skin, steampunk outfit plus M99 AM, AMR skin, AMR skin. 
How about that? All right. So I think I said about everything that I'll be doing in my future seasonal event videos. From this, this is one of the first of my overviewed seasonal event videos for just this event. When I do one for other events too. So before I go into this the series of videos like I've been doing in the past. Still gonna do that, but overview comes first. So, all right, that's your first deal. So yeah, <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this, what I'm doing here in the comments down below. Yeah, if you like this video, you can take your face and slash it and the like button. Or you could just slap it, you know, just, just slap that, yeah, just, just slap that, slap that, oh, naughty like button, oh, oh, so naughty, oh, oh. you know, slap it, a little bit naughty, or you could just hit it, yeah, just, if you like the video, it's up to you, and, you know, it's all up to you, really, <laughs> so, yeah, if you liked it, or if you'd like to see more from me, like I said, if you want to see me check out me going in depth more of this event, I do all these season events, like I said a while ago, you can subscribe or see more from me. I do videos over seasonal events, such as this one, for example. But this is Killer Coin 2 specific. I try to check out seasonal events as many different games as I can. You know, it's mostly computer games. Or I do, you can see some of my other videos too, like reaction videos. You can subscribe. It's all up to you if you'd like to see more from me and all this, like I just mentioned. If you'd like to see more that I covered in this video and later videos where I do a series of videos on this and that, then, yep. All of two, subscribe and like. So yeah. And with that said, <laughs> thanks for watching everybody. See you next time. Bye! Woo! <laughs> oh yeah!